who's in and who's out. One mayoral candidate wants the city to boot both the acting mayor and a state senator off the ballot. And the clock's ticking here. Early voting starts in less than three weeks. That's right. The candidate formally making the challenge is still fishing to get on the ballot. Jason Kelby looks into the allegations tonight. Hey, Mary, inside of this New York pizza delivery shop on Capitol were two candidates' nomination papers, acting Mayor Cavalier Johnson and State Senator Lena, Lena Taylor. Now, the person who put Taylor's nomination papers out here said a total of 11 people signed either the Taylor or acting Mayor Johnson sheets. The bottom of each sheet is a certification. The person gathering signatures attests that they personally obtained the signatures. Lena Taylor, nomination papers left on counter. Cavalier Johnson, nomination papers left on the counter, unattended, illegal. Activist Aisha Griffin files a formal complaint over those papers. They're not above the law. They should be in compliance with the law. These are seasoned political opponents. They know the law. Cavalier Johnson's campaign tells us they didn't receive the sheet featured in Griffin's video in time and didn't submit it. My understanding is that we did absolutely nothing wrong. I mean, we train all of our uh, volunteers who work on our campaign about how to properly make sure they take in signatures. Both the Johnson and Lena Taylor campaigns have three days to respond to Griffin's challenge. I did see um, signature items in many different places, but individuals uh, normally had them behind the registers and the person behind the register was doing it. In the end, we have more than 1,500 regardless. Not so for Griffin, the first candidate to turn in more than the required 1,500 signatures. But hours before the Tuesday deadline, the Election Commission told her more than 170 addresses were invalid. When we type that into to multiple databases, including the city assessor's office, the property um, information site, uh, as well as the registered voters site, the, it is not a valid address. It doesn't exist in the city of Milwaukee. Griffin drops off her affidavit, saying the addresses are valid. If it was an issue, I should have been uh, abreast of it ahead of time. Now, six candidates have turned in all the necessary paperwork and their signatures have been deemed enough. Now, the election commissioners will be meeting on Monday to hear these challenges and certify the final ballot. The primary for this mayoral race is set for February 15th. We're live on Capitol. Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. Coming up fast. All right, Jason, thank you.